Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. This video will show you how to convert from grams to mole or vice versa from moles to grams using molar mass as a conversion factor. The first problem asks how many moles of carbon monoxide are in 3.7 grams of carbon monoxide. So using dimensional analysis you can say that you have 3.7 grams of carbon monoxide and the molar mass of carbon monoxide if you look that up and do the calculation in the periodic table is 28.01 grams of carbon monoxide per one mole of carbon monoxide and that means grams will cancel out here and you'll be left with moles of carbon monoxide which is what you want. So you do the math and you will get 0 0.13 moles of carbon monoxide and that's rounded to the correct number of significant figures which is 2 in this case because what you're given in the problem is a number 3.7 with two significant figures. The second problem says how many grams of ammonia sulfate, ammonium sulfate, are in 0 0.40 moles of ammonium sulfate. So what you're given, and this time you're going from moles to grams instead of the previous problem, which was grams to moles, you're given that you have 0 0.40 moles of ammonium sulfate. If you find the molar mass for ammonium sulfate in the periodic table, you know that you will have 132.1 grams of ammonium sulfate in one mole of ammonium sulfate. So here moles will cancel out and you'll be left with grams which is what you're trying to determine in this problem. So if you do the math the number you'll be left with rounded to the correct number of significant figures will be 53 grams of ammonium sulfate. And that's it.